All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with some news out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So UFC 254 goes down on October 24th, and it was supposed to have a flyweight bout between number three ranked Cynthia Calvillo and number four ranked Lauren Murphy. Unfortunately, Cynthia Calvillo is now out of the fight. She caught the coof, caught a case of the Rona. So unfortunately, she is unable to travel to Abu Dhabi and take part in the fight. The UFC, however, has found a replacement for Cynthia Calvillo by signing 8-1 Uzbek fighter Lilia Shakarova. Now, looking at the stats here, Murphy is coming in 13-4, and four, coming off of three straight wins over Mara Romero Barella via TKO, Andrea Lee via split decision, and then most recently a unanimous decision over Roxanne Modafferi back in June. Now Shakarova, on the other hand, coming in 8-1. and one. She is coming off of three straight wins herself um, over Egil Kabarova in battle on Volga 6 back in 2018, Maria Artukina via split decision in 2018 as well, and then most recently fought last October 2019, picking up a win via TKO. Now, Murphy is the older fighter. She's 37 years old. Shekarova is listed at 28. Now, I had to look, uh, Google her age. Apparently, she is 28, but she will be celebrating her 29th birthday on October 24th. So, hey, that's a nice birthday gift getting signed to the UFC. Um, Murphy is slightly taller, 5 feet 5 inches, 165 centimeters, to Shakarova's 5 feet 4 inches, 163 centimeters. I don't have a reach available for Shakarova. Murphy is listed on topology at 68 inches, 173 centimeters. So Murphy apparently is one of those fighters whose reach is longer than she is tall. Now, you look at Shakarova because, you know, she's a bit of a mystery coming in. I've been keeping my eye on her for a couple years now. Uh, she only has one loss, which looking at it on paper doesn't look that pretty, back in uh, March of 2018 to the then four and four Yulia Borsova. However, she has some good wins, especially over a couple of undefeated fighters too. She beat Na Liang back in 2017. Liang, uh, Na was six and zero at the time. Uh, she also has a win over Bo Meng, who you might remember is the only fighter to have defeated Zhang Wei Li before, way back in the day. And she has a win over undefeated fighter Igul Kabarova back in September of 2018. So she has some wins over some, you know, undefeated opponents. And from what I've seen of her style, she seems to be pretty well-rounded. It is overall looks like a nice pickup by the UFC. Now, don't quote me on this, but I believe she was on tap for the Contender Series either sometime last year or early this year. She was one of the fighters that was supposed to be on tap for the Contender Series, and then all of that fell through because of, you know, the coof that Calvillo now has. So, like I said, looks like a nice pickup for them, and hey, very nice pick up as well, especially on short notice. I've seen at least one person online mention, you know, how do you bring in someone and let them face such a high ranked fighter right away? Well, you gotta think about a few things here. It's a short notice fight. So it's not like she's coming in with a huge advantage here. Like, oh, she's, she's coming in unprepared, basically. Also, for Fight Island, they've had what they have these, uh, like hubs, like all the fighters have to travel to certain hubs within their region, quarantine at the hub, then they have to get to Abu Dhabi in quarantine. So it's like a long process that they've been bringing out the fighters pretty much almost two weeks out from fight day. So for them to bring in someone on less than a week or a little, barely more than a week out, it's a lot easier to pick up a regional fighter as well than it is to get someone on short notice. And a lot of fighters, let's be honest here, a lot of ranked fighters don't want to take short notice fights lately. They just don't because it's too risky. Even if it's against someone higher ranking than them, 
a loss is very risky to their ranking right now. So that could explain why UFC brought in someone like Shakarova from Uzbekistan on such short notice. I believe she, I don't think she's the first fighter out of Uzbekistan in the UFC, but without doubt, she's the first female out of Uzbekistan in the UFC. Um, as for how the fight goes, I'm still going to fa heavily favor Lauren Murphy to win this. Um, Shakarova, you know, she's coming off of a year layoff, coming in short notice, unprepared. Of course, that could work out in her favor because she's not coming in with, you know, there's no pressure on her. There's literally no pressure to, for her to come in here on short notice, unheard of by the vast, vast majority of the fans, and expected to win against the number four fighter. So it could work out in her favor, but I'm still going to heavily favor Lauren Murphy. Murphy's pretty well-rounded herself. And she's very strong, and she's big for the division. You know, she's former bantamweight. She's not tall or anything, but she has that reach. She's very strong. She's Yeah, she is kind of big for a flyweight. You know, former bantamweight, I think I mentioned. So we're going to go with Lauren Murphy to win this one. Okay, so there you have it. Cynthia Calvillo is out of UFC 254, unfortunately, but UFC um, very quickly found a... Nice replacement for her against Lauren Murphy. So we'll have to see how this fight goes. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.